Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. It is Marguerite Miller collage time. So um, this is her 52 week challenge. It's a prompt assignment challenge. Um, there are five prompts plus a bonus prompt. You can choose to do all six or do, what did you do? I, Sorry, my son's in here. <laughs> I tried to get up, but then I got lightheaded and I let myself fall. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> He's down on the floor playing with the cat. So. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, uh, you can do all six or you can choose to do five. Um, if there's one in the regular ones that you don't like, you can replace it with the bonus one, however you decide to do it. I will leave a link to Marguerite Miller's YouTube channel in the description box below this video. So there should be a little arrow, usually on the right hand side when you're looking at your screen on your phone. Doesn't work on... Um, a TV so sorry I don't know how to do that on the TV um, but anyway you just click the little arrow and a box comes down and gives you all kinds of information about the video or um, what I used all stuff like that so this is um, what I have and we are on week 39 and I know I, I'm amazed every week, but I just really am. And I'm skipping a bunch because there's there's a lot. And there's a video for every single one of these. And they're in a playlist, which I finally just figured out you have to actually turn on. I didn't know that um, before. I thought once you made the playlist, it was viewable. So I apologize if you tried to view it and couldn't. You can now. Um, thanks to my friend Denise. Uh, she helped me figure that out. So thank you, Denise. <laughs> Um, this is the one we did last week, 38, and so we are on 39 right here, and we're going to orient it in this direction again, and I'm just going to tell you right now, it is Halloween-y, because this is probably the only chance I'm going to get to do anything Halloween, <laughs> so I decided I'm going to go ahead and run with it. Sorry, some of my pages are stuck together from using um, the matte medium. So this week we have, oh, and I forgot to say, I am just using a sketchbook. This is just a generic sketchbook I got at Michael's. So that's what I chose to use. You can get um, the planner that Marguerite has, or you can just get her prompts um, on her Etsy. So how do you decide to do it? Uh, wrapping paper. Sorry, I got totally discombobulated there so I just have some pieces of this wrapping paper and then I also have this tissue paper which I'm going to call wrapping paper because it was wrapped over a gift so there's that wrapping paper something shaped as an oval I have a an oval pumpkin <laughs> something with legs I chose one of my art dolls these this is from my spooky art doll um, digital download so you get the bodies in various styles and heads in various styles. I drew the heads, the bodies are like old uh, vintage photographs and some of them I've added color to, that kind of thing. So that's my sp spooky art dolls but she has legs. Um, a tree, this is from my spooky stamps digital download so a different, these are two different um, digital downloads. This is from last year. This is from this year. So um, my tree is this. Uh, something out of the recycle bin. Well, this is about the closest I could find. I mean, I, I have loads of stuff because I have paper coming out of my ears everywhere. So, um, but this is from my daughter's work and she was going to toss it. It's the, you know, she writes the orders down on. So, um, but I stole it from her and so don't, don't throw that away. Don't put it in the recycle bin, right? So that is the recycle bin something. And a rubber stamp in any color except black. I have yellow, squeezed lemonade, and carved pumpkin. I don't know which one I'll use or how or what. But anyway, I've got loads of stamps next to me. And I just have this piece of um, my digital download. The add-on, the industrial add-on is what this one's called. And that's also in my shop at craftycatusa.com. The Crafty Cat USA is all lowercase letters, so that makes it super easy. You just type it in. You don't have to capitalize anything. Um, and so that's a, new, that's a new digital download. Okay. I just thought it might make a good backgroundy type thing because I don't have a whole lot of background. I do have the wrapping paper, but I just thought it might be nice to have a piece that isn't super busy. 
So, hope you're all doing well. I am doing good. Just working along today. Trying to get everything accomplished. Oh, and I'll show you that finished product of yesterday. So, this is the mushroom. Once it all dried, um, I could draw over it a little bit easier. It's still kind of faded a little but I think it's it turned out pretty good I added a little stamp right here the figure stamp it's where is it this one from Tim Holtz it came with a butterfly but anyway I just added that right there and then our pocket is just a piece of the paper I was using to collage a little bit of um the sewing tissue and a piece of braille there and so she just popped them in so I haven't decided I might glue it down or I might just put it on the page. I don't know. I'll figure that out as I go. But anyway, back to this. I just wanted to show you because I didn't have time to finish that yesterday. So that's just sort of the way that goes. It always takes me forever just to make one piece of ephemera. So. <laughs> okay, some blue page there. I think I'm gonna do like that. I'm gonna wait until I set some stuff down because I don't know for sure. In our big spooky tree here. And I blew this up so it doesn't come this big in the digital download. It's about, probably about that tall in the digital download. But um, I just made it bigger on my uh, computer in the printing section. So I'm thinking obviously I need something behind him. I'm thinking like a long strip of this might be good. I'm just gonna tear it. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of wrapping paper because I use um, craft paper to wrap my gifts at Christmas and all that, and I didn't really wanna use Christmas paper either. <laughs> so I just, most of the time throughout the year, I just use craft paper because I just like the look of it and you can do all kinds of different things to it and you know so that's what I usually use but I did find this roll of wrapping paper and thought well it kind of definitely can pass for a sort of Halloween feel so I mean it can pass for a lot of things I don't know. It's way too neat and tidy for for this deal. So that'll go there. And obviously I'm going to ink it and do some stuff to it. So that will be like that, I'm thinking. Something roughly like that. Don't know which way I want this. Over here. And then... There isn't a whole lot of background stuff, <laughs> like choices for this one, so that's why I chose two bits of different paper. Um, don't necessarily want the pink a whole lot. I mean, a little's fine, but. Okay, so basically I'm going to put this one down, this one down, and then this one down. So let me get this one inked. Just 
trying to figure out how I want to do this. Sorry, that's why I'm quiet because I'm trying to think how I want to do this. <laughs> My brain's going. Clippity clip. So I hope you're all having a good day. I don't know if I said that. I think I might have, but <laughs> still, I wish you a good day. <laughs> it's always hard to remember when I get jabbering just what I said and what I didn't say. Oh, no, not that one. Well, you were yelling at me. I heard you. Heard you, heard you. This one a little bit wrinkly, too. Yeah, my son was playing with the cat down on the floor because he's all curled up under the um, table in the other table, not this one, but uh, in a sunbeam, like the only sunbeam in the room. Of course, he found it. So he was all curled up under there looking adorable and sat there and had to come mug him a little bit because that's Theron's job. <laughs> he's getting over a cold. He, we had to go... Uh, get him tested for COVID on Friday because he was sick, sick, sick. And so I got a little worried, but does not have it. It came back negative, so yay. He is vaccinated, but we've had lots of friends we know that have gotten it lately and been vaccinated. So they're all doing good, though, so that's the important thing. He's still got that lingering cough. I kind of felt like it was a cold just by the way he was, but I just don't know anymore, so. Oh, I forgot to eat that. Well, we'll make it. I kind of want to bench this one up a little bit, too. I don't want it perfectly flat, because what was the point of crinkling it if you're just going to make it totally flat? Kind of cool because it um just wrinkling it made the black like come off sort of it's weird oopsie <laughs> I have to put something there i guess or we'll just go all the way around <laughs> make it look like we did it on purpose, right? Getting grungy in here. Okay. Now it's grungy. I feel like he needs to come up higher because I want this her to be kind of like running. I'm saying her, I have no idea. I mean, I'm assuming just because of what she's wearing, but it's hard to say. I love the expression on that skeleton's face. It cracks me up. This is what I like. I mean, like, I guess it's a little spooky and weird, but it's not, like, terrifying or anything. That's, that's my speed for Halloween. And I need that, but it needs to be junked up. So I'm going to put some sewing tissue over the top of that.
Okay, this is good right here. What I might do is just put this on and then glue this right over the top of it. Because I kind of like it overlapping and everything. I'm going to ink this a little bit. Oops, I better put my pen in my glue or I will have catastrophe the next time I try to use it. want it even darker. I like these, um, I don't know what these are called. Guest checks. My goodness, I have been struggling with that lately. <laughs> I can't remember guest checks. But anyway, I like these uh, because they just got numbers on them and then, of course, when it's in someone else's handwriting, I like it. But, um, yeah, they're just kind of fun to play with in different ways. Okay, so what's the front and back of this? That's the front. I, I want to come all the way down. I want it to come onto this over here, and that might get covered by the tree or the runner or the whatever. I'm going to attempt to glue on the back of this. I can usually do okay with it. It's pulling it back up. If it sticks to this other paper, that's usually the problem. On you. Oh, I got a little white over there, but that's okay. I will figure something out. I'll just probably ink it. Okay. New tree which also needs ink. And these, um, if you purchase these stamps, they're meant to be like stamps. So they just have the black image, black image on white, you know, they're not colored is what I'm trying to say. So you're not gonna get the brown and all that. I did that with my alcohol markers. So they'll just be black and white like a stamped image would be because I thought they would be fun for people to paint color whatever however you want to do them. put tissue over um, whatever and I just kind of rough cut them out which this is always the interesting part with all these little branches. All right, now I'm going to get a different piece of paper. Those alcohol markers go right through that. I did that on parchment paper. Okay. 
Okay, let's try not to break off its branches here. This is kind of a kooky one, but I just wanted to play with some of my Halloween stuff. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get a chance to do a whole lot with it this year, so. <laughs> mm. I mean, I, I normally don't get it. I don't do a whole lot with it, but it's fun making the things that other people can use if they want to. Um, I'm going to come this way just a tiny bit more. Up there, I think. My fingers are sticking to everything. Ay, 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 ay. I need a card. That's the tricky part about the gluing these type of things. And then I always tend to miss some, no matter what I do. Okay, I think that's good, hopefully. Got the lumpy bumpy paper under it, so it's struggling. All right, and this guy needs some me too. And again, this is one of the stamps. I didn't say that, but this comes with the tree. That's one of the spooky stamps. And it's just black and white. And then you just color it whatever color you want it. And there's other ones. Like this is another one that comes with that that's already been colored. Oh, I was going to stamp under there before I put the tree down and I forgot. That almost looks like cobwebs up there. Just the way that that is. I drew all these guys last year. <laughs> They're silly. Silly fun Halloween. Then our, I did ink this one, yeah. So there's different heads and um, the heads don't come on the bodies. So just like the other art dolls, you add them. I just added the skeleton head to that running body. think because then it looks like the pumpkins looking at, <laughs> at it okay and then we need our stamps these swirls might be kind of neat like weird dream type something I don't know that's what I'm thinking I don't know about the orange I really want to use black but <laughs> we'll see we'll see what I think of this I'm probably gonna have to ink put a little ink over it or something I don't think that yellow will work. 
because it's too almost limey yellow, if that makes sense. Let's see them on that. I mean, you can see them, but you can't tell what they are. And then. for that. I wonder if I, I think I'm gonna try black. Clean this orange off as much as I can. Got a wet towel. do it directly on there but and this is an old Stampin' Up! it's from 2001 so I don't I don't have a lot of new ones from Stampin' Up. If I do, they're from Paper Pumpkins. So they're hard to get to. Oh, I put it over his eye. That wasn't good. Darn. I hate it when I do stuff like that. All right. Let's see what else. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. Um orange but I need 39 why did it not work there not 93 I mean I think I'll just do that something and you don't have to put these numbers on this is just something I started doing from the beginning so that's just the way I do it but it's not like it's part of the challenge Guide. Okay. Um, I kind of like this. This is a Tim Holtz ticket uh, stamp, but I like the little bitty writing on here in places. Could do. This will... I don't want to mess up this orange, but kind of like that. I just like using those numbers at the top of those ticket stamps. Need one next to the pumpkin, huh? I think I'll do the one next to the pumpkin in black. Her pumpkin's going to be all messed up by the time I get done with her. My oval. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, now we need just like some other random stamp stuff. Could do this one in some orange, and that's another old. That one doesn't even have a date on it. It's just itty bitty backgrounds by Stampin' Up. Yeah, I have no idea what year that is. Probably around that same 2001 type time. It's another dot one, kind of like that other dot. And there's another one of those. The thing I don't like is it makes that kind of perfect little, like, almost square. So you gotta do them a couple times or you get that weird. Square feeling. Another orange. Okay. I think that's good. Let's make sure we got everything. We have the wrapping paper. I have two of those. And then something shaped in an oval. Something with legs. A tree. Something out of the recycle bin is the guess check. Uh, rubber stamping in any color except black, and I used the orange. I did use black, but I used the orange. <laughs> so, congratulate me on that one, because that's not a color I use a whole lot to stamp with. Um, yeah, I think I think it's done. So, yeah, just a bit of silliness and fun. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was uh, it's a little weird, but you know, it's fun. So I hope you are joining in and having fun. I've heard a few people say that they just started and that's awesome. Like jump in now or try. you can try to obviously go back and do some or you can jump in like this week with this one and then just slowly do other ones. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's There's um, not a lot of rules. It's just meant to help get people um, collaging. That's really what it's about. So anyway, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.